what is everyone welcome back to another video my name is Joshua Winkins and in this video I want to go over how to create this really cool zoom through eye effect in Final Cut Pro 10 as you can see right here here is the editing breakdown to the actual effect as you can see right here Patrick Mahomes starts scrambling it freezes and all of a sudden starts zooming into his eye and then it transitions into the next little clip it's definitely a really cool way to transition or it's also just a really cool effect and it definitely takes uh, quite a while to get this um, correct. So let's go ahead and kind of break this down. If you've never seen any of my videos before, you, you, you would know that I make editing breakdowns. So instead of like step-by-step -step tutorials, I'll make more of just editing breakdowns and break down how I um, created an effect. So right here, I go ahead and just play it right here. And this clip is just normal. It's just a normal clip. Now you want to pick a clip that obviously, now most people would probably say you want to have the face already zoomed in more just to help the effect look a lot better. And yes, it is pretty much true, but you're going to want to find a clip where it's visible, where its eye is very visible so it's easy to zoom into. And yes, you're probably going to want a clip where the person is a lot closer to the camera just so it'll look a lot better. But I don't, I have limited access to a certain number of clips, so I thought this would be the best way, the best clip to use. So this, this right here is a freeze frame. So I'll go ahead and just show the retime option. This clip right here is a frozen frame. So this clip right here, go ahead and just Patrick from scrambling. The last frame of this clip is this clip right here. And as you can see right here, it is a freeze frame. So I just froze the, the last second of the clip because you're going to need a freeze frame. And what you want to do is you want to head over here to options or the speed um, retiming section and click on hold and that's how you create a, um, a freeze frame now you're probably going to want this freeze frame to be a little bit longer than two seconds as you can see this is 2.06 seconds you're going to want it a little bit longer than two seconds because if it's shorter it's going to look way too fast and choppy but if it's too long that's going to be really slow and kind of boring so i would say just around two seconds i think is kind of like universally um, accepted or that's what i've seen most people do Next thing you want to do is create a draw mask. So as you can see right here, go to the effects panel, mask, and then click on draw mask right here. So you're going to want to put a draw mask onto the freeze frame clip. So let's go to the freeze frame clip right here, as you can see right here, draw mask. So I just cut it around inside. I'm going to go ahead and disable this just to help give a better example because obviously there's not going to be a clip underneath. So as you can see right here, here is a draw mask. Now let's zoom in to like 600%. And as you can see right here, I just use a draw mask to cut around his eye. So as you can see right here, his eye is just black. So you want to use a draw mask and then you want to invert the mask and increase the feathering a little bit just to help make it um, a lot nicer. Now, the next thing you want to do is keyframe the position and the scale. Now I started a couple frames after the freeze frame clip. I'll show you how to do that in a second, but go ahead and start either a couple frames in or a couple frames out, but you want to start kind of at the beginning of the clip. And as you can see right here, the position is keyframed and the scale all is keyframed. Now we're gonna go ahead to the end of the clip right here, and as you can see, the position is keyframed and the scale also it's like 16 uh, thousand percent negative 22 thousand and then almost three thousand so basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to zoom into the eye so I'll go ahead and click on here as you can see right here we're slowly zooming in so actually I'll, so I'll go back to the beginning so you can see right here go ahead and as you can see right here we're slowly zooming in to the eye until you come until the eye is completely consumed um, the entire screen and there we go it's all black and as you can see right here the scale on the position have been keyframed now let's go ahead and start the begin start the end and then we're going to zoom all the way out and you'll be asking yourself okay well how in the world do you know the correct position and the correct scale because I'm currently right now struggling to find the right position well I would encourage you to do is just click on the clip somewhere and literally just start messing or go oh, and go to the end of the clip and then you want to mess with the scale and the position so get an idea of where how big you actually want the scale and how big where you want the position to be before you start keyframing it write it down somewhere and then go back to the beginning keyframe the position the scale 
go to the end of the clip and then type in the position and type in the scale that you already kind of predetermined before you started the keyframing. So don't keyframe immediately, go to the end of the clip and make sure you've zoomed all the way in to his eye because you want to make sure the entire screen is um, black right there. And that's really important because you can see right here, this is just a freeze frame. You're just using a draw mask, inverting the mask, turning the feathering on, and then I'll go ahead and go to the position and scale. So watch the position, watch the scale. Zero, zero, 0100, as you can see right here, the scale and the position is keyframed. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do next is have some sort of clip underneath the video. So as you can see right here, boom, there we go. Now let's go ahead and play this again. You're gonna put a clip underneath the mask and now it's not black. So let's go ahead and zoom in right here. As you can see right here, there we go. Because there's a clip underneath and it's masked around his eye, there we go. We start zooming into the clip and that's basically how you create um, this clip right here. Now you can obviously add some music if you want. This music is from Epidemic Sound, so that always obviously is all up to you. Now one thing I want to go over is show video animations. So you want to click on it, right click, show video animations right here. As you can see, this transform to I moved it two frames, so one, two. So the keyframing doesn't actually start until two frames into the freeze frame right here. Um, basically just messing with the video animation that helps make the video a little less choppy so you basically okay so the freeze frame happens and then one two frames in now the keyframe actually starts so the keyframe doesn't actually start in the first two frames of the freeze frame right there you have to wait a couple of frames that's all up to you but I found and I've heard that it helps make the animation look a lot smoother anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 90 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and we're coming in on over a hundred different Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and that is just insane so if you want to see more final cut pro 10 tutorials definitely go ahead and check out that playlist anyways see you in the next one peace